This that jam that you bumping in the car on the radio Friends so disgusted wonder how the hell they play it Though secretly you know they're gonna save it to their playlist Dance to it alone and claim they hate it hate Later that. be the one to say I like when they were nameless uh, Like I was listening before they were famous sure. Ain't it funny all the years you gotta put into the struggle And it's just so you can try to entertain us Waiting for them summertime sick Radio hits when we bounce with our friends like this Hit the beach with the sun on our back and the tunes all in yeah. Grateful to this how we live Time and money just to hear it at a festival Play it in the car at a party, show your friends it's the best of all. Get the old score out the way, you know what's getting played. Hit the play, I spin every day. And they made a radio song, knowing that we'll sing along when we hear it on. They made a radio song, knowing that we'll sing along, we'll sing along. you bump all night man you must have heard it like a thousand times tweaking little bits till you get it right and right and right in on bites until you live the life of your dreams but it ain't easy break on the scene living life so freely all you want to do is make the top so you put in the lock So we just got back from Japan and after I finished transferring all the clips that I needed for my vlog, I put the SD card back into my camera and I noticed that my camera was doing something really weird. It kept saying it was unable to read the SD card and um, I couldn't do anything. It would just lock up on the screen. So it's like, is it an SD card problem? So I tried reformatting the SD card on my laptop and put it back into the camera that didn't work i pulled out my slr and then tried reformatting the card in there and put it back in the zve 10 and it still didn't work so i tried using different sd cards and it still wasn't working i looked this up online apparently this is a fairly common problem that sony seems to be having and then I checked the firmware on my camera, it's up to date, so I really don't know what else to do. So I'm bringing it into the service center today. So I um, searched for where the Sony service center is here in Cebu. Both addresses that they had listed on Google and on Waze were the wrong addresses. And I ended up like going to both places 
only to find that the, the they'd shut down, that they weren't there. So that was incredibly frustrating. Then my sister told me that Massey Camera Shop, where we actually buy a lot of our camera gear, they are a drop-off center for Sony. So uh, that was a relief to hear. So I'm going to head over there and hopefully they can help me with this problem because I don't know how I'm going to vlog if I don't have this camera. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the giant mess that is my studio currently. So I have been getting into fixing a few clothes that I've been meaning to alter and I don't know I just like got really into the mood to start altering clothes so I spent almost all of yesterday doing that. Let me show you what I made. So this top I've had forever and I actually kind of hate wearing it. I really love the color and the pinstripe detail on it. That's why I've kept it for so long. And also it was a gift from my mom. So I didn't feel right about giving it away, but I really hated wearing this because it was too tight around my arm. And every time I would wear it, I would feel like the Incredible Hulk, like I'm busting out of my clothes. So what I did was first I cropped it because I feel like that's very on trend now. I keep seeing these button down shirts that have been cropped and I think it's such a cute look. So instead of buying one, I decided I would just crop this one instead. I took the extra fabric that I had cropped from the bottom of the shirt and I opened up the sleeves and added a gusset here in the underarms. So now it fits my arms really well and I think it's such a cute look. I should just put it on and show you. So everything you see around me right now is either about to be altered or in the process of being altered. 
So as you can see now, the sleeve fits me a lot better. I like the way it falls. But yeah, really happy with that. The next thing that I worked on is this blue pinafore dress. So I've had this for a while. If I can find photos of the before, I didn't have the foresight to take any photos before I got into altering these items. So if I have any before photos, I'll insert them here. Otherwise, I'm sorry. So <laughs> this dress, um, I've worn a couple of times and every time I wear it, there was just something that made me feel slightly uncomfortable. I didn't like how I looked. I felt so dowdy in it. So I decided to cut it up and make it into separates. I separated it, I hemmed the top and then stitched the opening close so it just works as a top. Unfortunately, it's so short. Like, it's basically, it's more cropped than the crop top I'm wearing. So it's basically like a little bra top. So I'm still trying to think of a way to fix that. So I'm planning to just sew it to make it like one skirt like this. And then I'm thinking maybe I can take the extra fabric and attach it somehow to the top so that the top is not super cropped. Okay, so I have removed this much of the skirt and I think once I take out the waistband and just hem this side, this will be like a good amount to add to the bottom of that top to make it like a proper top and not a bra top. So, but that's a plan for later. This is what's left of my skirt. Um, I also got myself a little travel iron so that I, won't, I wouldn't have to keep running to the laundry room every time I needed to press something before I could sew it. It has been such a game changer, guys. Like, when it comes to sewing clothes, I really underestimated how important it is to press things before sewing them down. It just makes everything so much easier. I got myself a matching zipper because I'm, I'm planning to add a zipper. So this is the new skirt closure. And I'm not really sure how to do it yet. <laughs> Maybe the button will have to be on the inside so that I can add the zipper. I don't know, I have to figure it out, but that's the plan for now. When I cut off the edge of the skirt, I left this raw open hem over here um, on the waistband and I don't know what to do about that so what I did was I got a piece of the pocket that I had removed from the skirt and I I'm planning to wrap it around like this sort of like it's bias tape and then just integrate the tail into the new hem that I'm making to prevent fraying on this side of the skirt. The hemming worked really well this looks nice and clean it's not perfect but it'll do what I'm trying to figure out right now is I can't really figure out a way to put in the zipper. Um, I just don't know how to do it. I want to put the zipper here, but I'm not sure how to do that without, like I, I only know how to add zippers to the edge of things. So I need, I can add it to this edge, but then this is not the edge. So I'm not really sure how to add the zipper to this side. I think I figured out a way to add the zipper. If I can hide this half uh, with the natural pleats of the skirt, and then this I can sew onto the edge of the other side of the skirt, then that should work. This is where I'm stopping for today. I managed to attach the zipper to this side of the dress. Then I folded it over and added a top stitch. I'm gonna have to finish this tomorrow because I'm running late and I have to get going. But all I have left to do is attach this side, sew down the edge of the skirt, and then maybe add like a hook closure over here for this tab and I'll be done. Hey guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a couple of days since I last filmed. So as you saw at the beginning of this vlog, my camera, the ZVE-10 that I've been using to film for almost a year now is broken and I had to take it in into Sony. So I've been using my old setup, the things that I was using to film before I got that camera. So I've been using my phone in like all of the sewing clips that you've been seeing. I was using my phone in most of the painting stuff. I was using this, the DJI Osmo Pocket. And I really prefer the quality of the Osmo Pocket over the quality of the phone. So I'm gonna try using this again and seeing if there's a huge difference. 
because I've been thinking to myself, I have a couple of trips coming up and it would be great if I only had to bring this one small camera with me versus all the gear that I usually travel with. So you know what, This I'm going to take this opportunity and see if I can make this setup work for vlogging. Let me know what you think. If you see a noticeable difference in the quality or if you have any suggestions for me, definitely let me know in the comments down below. So today I turned the camera back on to show you the finished product on the blue pinafore dress that I've been working on. So here is the top that I altered. So the first thing I did was take it off from the skirt. I had this like extra strip of fabric that I got from when I fixed the skirt up. So I decided to tack it onto the bottom so it wouldn't be too short. And now it's just this like loose and airy tank top. It kind of reminds me of having a little waistcoat. Ideally, I would have put in buttons so that I could like fit it better to me, but I really didn't want to do that by the end of the week. So I just left it wide enough so I could slip in and out of it. And this is the top. Okay, let's move on to the skirt. So as you can see, I cut it off. I turned it into a standalone skirt. I added a button here on the side and then a zipper. One thing that I find about these little alteration projects, because I am self-taught and I'm kind of figuring everything out as I go along, I learn so much whenever I just try to like do things on my own. So for this project in particular, I learned how to install this zipper, how to hide it well so it really like blends in with the rest of the skirt. I mean, it's not a perfect job, but it's pretty good, I'd say, so I'm proud of myself for that. So this dress has been sitting in my closet for months and months, and I just haven't been wearing it. And whenever I do wear it, I really don't like how I look in it. So now that they're separates, I like them so much better, and I hope that I can integrate them even better into my wardrobe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think about this whole camera situation I have going on, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.